YouTubers and RV fans. Today's video is going to be focused on, on setting up my mobile office. Um, I know that there's a lot of talk in the RV community for younger RVers who are still working about how they earn their living on the road. Um, I happen to be very fortunate that I have um, the ability to work online um, um, as a professional educator. So I'll be teaching classes online, which is very exciting. And because I do have the um, Netgear mobile hotspot from Unlimitedville, uh, I feel a little more flexible in terms of how um, my internet is going to be achieved um, as I travel across the country. I think the first things that are really important is to understand that I have to be in areas that accept LTE 4G and 3G and if they don't have that coverage then I simply can't go there unless I plan to go there and take time off from work. Um, there's a requirement for me to be present and available in the classroom um, on a, a certain amount of hours a week and for my own self I like to be available and present in the classroom every day. So it's really important for me that I have a reliable internet connection, which I think I have. Um, I also do have a backup plan, which Technomatia calls for. Um, I do have a, a Verizon phone that has 5G. So in the event that I am stranded someplace without uh, uh, Sprint coverage, hopefully I'll be able to get online with my, um, uh, with my Verizon coverage. I need to set up the rig so that I have a um, comfortable workspace. And um, so this, this video is for sharing with you what my expectations are in terms of setting that up in the rig. Remember I have a 26 foot rig so it's not really big and I do want to have a space that is comfortable to work in and also one that um, I don't mind being in most of the day when I'm working or into the evening. Uh, it depends on uh, what's happening. The other thing that's important is setting up my work schedule. Um, one of the things about teaching online that's exciting for me is that I get to teach um, on my schedule, which is very nice. So if I decide that I'm going to leave a specific site or a specific spot um, and, and drive, you know, 100, you know, 150 miles and then park for the, for the day, I want to be able to work from a specific time to a specific time. So then my expectation is that I'm going to probably drive until about 12 or 1 o'clock pull over, get myself set up, have some lunch, uh, and then start working uh, on my online course. So I do need to have a, the ability to commit a minimum of six to eight hours a day, uh, at least Monday through Friday, in active um, participation in my, in my course rooms. Now, I like to be uh, available on Saturday and Sunday, but my availability will strictly be through email. So as a result, um, I now have my work schedule set, set situated pretty well. So I know what that's going to be. Now I have to figure out the office space. So come on with me and let me show you a little bit about what, what that involves. Okay, this is my dinette. Um, and my dinette is kind of small. But I can go ahead and set up my laptop with my monitor um, and my peripherals on the table. But unfortunately, that does not leave me much space in terms of um, a place to eat or anything. So... It, it's a little bit cumbersome, a little bit cumbersome. Now I do have this space over here. If I move this chair, I can put a table here and then I can turn this around and this can be my primary chair and I can have my office like right here during the day when I'm not actually traveling. Um, let's see how that looks. All right, here's the table and uh let me go ahead and set that up so bear with me here while i get this all situated put this set up here voila this gives me a nice workable area the passenger seat is very comfortable. Got a great window right here. Got a great window view here. I think this is going to be very workable, especially when I'm all set up. What do you think? Okay, so here's the setup at this point. I've got a great table here. I've got the uh, passenger side chair that actually swivels around and makes a great office chair. So 
we'll see at this point i think it looks pretty pretty doable and one of the things i really like is this window right here you, know, you get to see out i can close it if i need to i can open it up if i need to makes it really nice and then i've got my little stuff here notes you know all that kind of stuff keys um miscellaneous stuff so it's all good that's right there and then i've got my extra closet space up here and then for my files i can basically put my files right down here and then when i when i start to drive i can stow it by putting it on the seat and i can put my computer and monitors on the seat and i can put the table on the bed so that i think all seems to work out pretty well okay everybody so as a final part of um, setting up my uh, mobile office you can see this is the current setup i have in my house it's a mess because i'm downsizing and getting everything out of here so but right now i've got my um my monitor here with the keyboard the laptop my external hard drive i also have my hotspot a lamp a very dusty printer and then some miscellaneous stuff here some of which will be going in the rig some that won't i have my um shredder my uh, portable files that will be coming with me and then miscellaneous stuff like paper and things like that so i think this setup will actually work in the rig um i feel pretty confident about it it's pretty similar to what i'm doing it right here now anyway so it shouldn't be too much of a problem so i'd be interested in what you've done uh, if you work from home or have a mobile online business and you work from the rig or your coach you know what is it that you do in terms of setting up your uh, your office space put your comments down below and let me know um, if you like the video please give it a thumbs up uh, and also too I just want to thank all of my new subscribers um, the channel growth has been amazing so thank you all very much if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed please click that subscribe button all right everybody have a great day